Ah, I thought I'd uh, give this a go with the transition planes. So I've set up two by here and here, and I've wired them up to the system. Now uh, let's hope that I can combine these different color cables together. And the, the minute I put this on now, we'll test to see if it works. And it works. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> so we might as well connect the other one over here as well. Let's see if this one works as well. Oh yeah, excellent. So that system works. So we've got a way of automating sugarcane and watermelons over there. But all we're going to do now is probably make some more of these transition planes. I think I've got about one left. Now we couldn't use them with pumpkins because I don't think you get anything from pumpkins. Let's see now. So, do we get any chemical type stuff from pumpkin? We get that. So, what can I use that for? Let's see. If I break that down, gives me. Ooh, pumpkins give me carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Now, carbon is handy for making coal. So, we could possibly make a automated coal making thing and use it to power some generators. That's another idea for power. Ah, I think we will do that. Actually, let's see if I got any pumpkin seeds. I got 14. Cool. Uh, let me just uh, put some stuff in my... Because I was digging up behind some of this and there were absolutely tons of these quartz slabs. So I've got some more building materials there as well. So what I'm going to do now is grab these here. Now, I'm basically going to swap up one of these sides as this is automated now. So I don't really need to worry about getting these. I can just go to my AE system and grab them out. So let me just get rid of that. I think I'll swap this side for pumpkins actually. Give it a all M and let's replace them with pumpkins. Right. Let's set up this transition plane. So we want this to look down. So that's the top. We just gotta set it up. The right way around, there we go. So the black bit is this black bit here is on top. So what I'm going to do now is just connect the two together. Actually, I put it in the wrong spot. Let's put that back. I should have put it by here already. It's better. Right, let's get that set up. Okay, that's right. What I'm going to do now is knock the back out. Just add the cables in. So I'll just connect these two together. We've got a switch in the way over there. Let me get rid of this switch here. And I can just right click that. That turns it on so you don't really need levers behind them. And all i got to do is just connect the two together. Just get this right. But there. There we go. Let's just cover that hole up now. And that's done. So I can just forget about that now and just let it do its stuff. But what I probably will do is I probably might make some more of these it's coming out to here. Same with the sugar cane really. And that should automate it that just a little bit for now until we get some more of these transition planes set up. So uh, yeah, messing around with this AE system is fun. So I wonder, Oh yeah, when I was uh, digging out uh, the pipes behind here, so I just basically get rid of all this. So all this is uh, access uh, quartz. I found behind here a carpenter safe, which I didn't really see before. And inside we've got 
pink. That's just another storage cell and the reward bag. So let's have a look at the reward bag. Activate the rails, which will probably come in handy sometime for something. So let's put this stuff away now. I don't really need any of it. Oh, I should have kept the quartz ready. Uh, put those end of back. Get rid of the pumpkins. Flu ducks can go in. And the other bits can go in. Right, so they got this pink cell now. So before I look at that, let's uh, check our system and see what else we need to do. Right, so we've got the crafty CPU set up. And I need to sort those recipes out. This is up and running. We just need to fetch those other dry bays from uh, Biosphere. And we've got a power source set up for now, and these ender pills are still ongoing. I think we're not going to have a problem here for a while, because that's on 49 minutes. And that should be charging up this, I think. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's charging up alright, so we got, let's see that, it's got one, two, three, seven, six, seven, yeah, that's going to be, give us way loads of power. So I don't think we need to worry about that now. Right, so I think all i got to do here is just tidy it up a little bit, and maybe add a few engines in there, and... Let's work out a way of automating the pearl farming. Right, so let me see where did I put the forest pack. I need to set this up again tonight. Right, let's just quickly put this back where it was, which was over here. And we've already got another two pearls there. I don't know what I did to that end of lily. I'll have to look for that. Oh, and I better plug that up as well. So, black. Oh, it was quartz, wasn't it? It was quartz, black quartz. So, let me just tidy this up a second. It's better. Right, so we don't have to worry about that now. Right, let's go and have a look at this storage cell then. Let's put them away. Right, so... We've got a storage cell called Pink. I wonder what could be in here. Is it going to be pegs or is it going to be wool? I'm hoping it's going to be wool because I think pink wool is good. So we'll take that out. Actually... I think that's empty now. Available. Yeah, that was empty. I took that was all that was in there was ore. So we'll put in the pink one now. Let's get some power in there. That's enough. What have we got? Uh oh. Who's this guy? Oh I We've got... oh, we've got Flutterer. And we've got pink drones, pink princesses, pink dye, colour bricks, a pink generator, and pink stained glass. So we can make pink power as well, by the looks of it. Ah, that's going to be an idea. Let me just check something here a second. Now with the chemical... Oh, I can't do it with glass, maybe with the wool? Or the bricks? There's no wool in here. Let's have a look at die. Yeah, that mini me's picked me up. I knew it. So what can we do? Chemical com decomposer gives me cobalt nitrate and titanium. Oh, look. <laughs> I'm going to have to sort you out, okay? Now you behave. So we've got wool on the floor and everything. And this skin will give me pink wool as, uh, sorry. Pink honey. 
honey drops. So that's another part of the bee quest over there. So I think I'm going to uh, clear all this out now and throw this in my system and put my mini me in a a nice new home to live and we'll go from there really so I'll be back in a moment right so I grabbed all that pink stuff from upstairs and I'm just curious now to see how much power a pink generator will give me so let's uh, let's set that up right next to the other one let's throw in a bit of pink wool so that gives me a power level 40 for 15 seconds let's just wait for that to run down it's only 10 seconds five four three two one right so that gives me 16k of power and if I can work out a way of automating uh, pink materials because you can do it with you can do it with bricks and anything that's pink will work so we need to find out a way of doing that so the recipe for the pink dye is bone meal and some rose red that should be quite easy to get really because we need to set up if we want to do this what we should do is set up a flower farm but it's definitely something to think about because with this we can get those chemicals and uh, let's see what chemicals they are so we can get cobalt nitrate and titanium dioxide and cobalt gives us let's see let's go to the decomposer let's see cobalt nitrate let's see if I can get hold of it ah, there we go cobalt nitrate should give us nitrate and cobalt let's see nitrate yeah, so we've got a few options there. Right, let's put these away for now. So if we want some emergency power, we can... Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Now we've got these bees. Now, we could set this up. Let me just check the recipe for these guys. So these will give me pink coloured combs. And from the pink palette, you know, pink coloured combs, we get pink honey drops, and pink honey drops might give us some power in there as well. So that's another option. So definitely, there's loads of things there to think about to get power, and of course, we've got to get lava power as well. When we go to the nether, I'll probably think about setting that up as well. So have we got a lava generator or two? Don't think we have. Have we? We've got furnace, heated redstone, and TNT, and an ender. So I got oh, I got another ender there, have I? So let's have a look. I'm not going to do this now. I'm just having a look. So we've got a lava generator. Which is gold, a block of iron, that's quite easy to make really. So that's something we can look at as well. So we're not having problems there with power now. So let's uh, have a look at that quest book and let's see where we can go from here.